when we went to In-N-Out, we noticed there's a lot of people there, but usually, you know, In-N-Out, there's always a lot of people there on a Friday night, you know, just because that's sure. where a lot of people go, you know, to eat, hang out, whatever. So we get there, and uh, there's there's some people there, and I guess those were the people that I had tried to jump uh, two of my friends earlier. And then uh, one of my friends got his name called out, talking about, and someone was saying that they wanted to fight him. So uh, from what I understand, my friend that was in the first fight, he was also getting jumped. There were only about 12 of us, and what the officer told me was that there were about 300 people there. So when I looked over and saw my friend Chaz getting jumped, I went over and tried to help him. I pulled a guy off of him, and the guy pushed me. So uh, me and this guy started fighting, and then uh, me and this kid were fighting for about, uh, it wasn't even 10 seconds, you know, and uh, I got hit in the back of the head really hard. I don't know what it was by. Or, so I turned around and there were about 12 guys coming at me. And uh, I just figured, you know, <laughs> I had no time to run. And I, you know, I just had nothing to do. So honestly, I just had to go down, try to cover myself as best as I could. So when I was going down, I was pushed by a couple of them and I landed awkwardly on my shoulder. And that's why my shoulder is the way it is now. I think they said seven or eight kids were you know, taking turns, just, you know, having their way with me, kicking me, hitting me, doing whatever, while I was unconscious. And my friend Chaz, who I had just helped, I guess he scuffled away from the two other guys that were jumping him, and he can't, he ran over and covered me. But prior to that, I guess, uh, while I was, when I was on the ground, I guess I had got hit in the head, and I was knocked unconscious. So I guess they just kept hitting us, both of us at the same time now, but he covered my head so that they couldn't do any more damage to my to my face or anything. And then uh, I guess that's when the cops came about five minutes, uh, about five minutes later the cops came. From what I understand, he didn't touch me because uh, uh, I've known DeWitt for a while and me and him really don't have any personal problems towards each other. Um, from what I understand, I guess he fought um, my friend Josh Harper's cousin, who's 17 years old. Some people told me he did, some people told me he didn't, but honestly, I'm not the type of person who believes rumors. Unless I know for a fact that he hit me, then I'm not, you know, I'm not holding anything towards him. Uh, I don't see this as a, um, as a rivalry between Lincoln and St. Mary's, because honestly, it's not. A rivalry is sports, a rivalry is school activities. This is more than that, you know, this is a mistake made by some people. And, you know, uh... People make mistakes, whether they're really, really serious, whether they're, you know, forgetting their homework that day. People are going to make mistakes every day, and I'm the type of person that sees, that sees, you know, the good side of things. And honestly, I think these people, they're going to get what they deserve, and I think they should be forgotten about and looked past. You know, uh, this is something I just want to move on from. A learning experience, obviously, you know. Uh, I'm angry. But I'm not, um, you know, I'm, I'm a strong believer in the Bible. And the Bible says forgive and forget. And I'm trying my hardest to do that right now.